So the story of magnetism, it's very interesting. It started with the Greek shepherd whose name was Magnus. So he was a shepherd. So one day he just took out his sheep out for grazing. He had a stick with him which had iron end. To his surprise, when he was playing, this iron end got attracted towards one of the rocks. Now in those days, imagine, this was very surprising, right? And in those days, people always understood that forces, pushes and pulls could only be applied by touching another object. Whereas this rock magically attracted the iron end of the stick without touching. It was as if the rock had grown hands and was pulling, was able to pull the iron towards it. Of course, now we understand that the rock had a special property which is known as magnetism. And these magnets, they are able to att attract certain other magnetic materials towards them. This rock is known as lodestone or magnetite. Now, magnets have become very common in our everyday life. For example, you must be having some fridge magnets, right? The, the pieces, small pieces which, which get attached to your fridges. All, perhaps all the motors that you have in your house, your fans, your air conditioning, your coolers, all of them have magnets. So magnets, we have put them to very good use. This was, this could only happen with our understanding of magnetic and non-magnetic materials. So only certain materials respond to magnetism, right? So for example, I have a magnet with me in this, in this, uh, in, in the hand and this magnet has magnetism, 100%, okay? Only certain materials would get attracted towards this magnet. So for example, if I bring it close to an iron nail, iron screw, then it would get attracted towards the magnet. This magnet has no effect on copper. It has no effect on plastic or on wood either. So most of the materials are actually non-magnetic. They are not, they do not respond to magnetism. Very few metals actually have magnetism. There are only three, nickel, cobalt and iron. Those are the only three metals which exhibit magnetic properties. Now this particular characteristic of materials that only certain materials respond to magnetism others do not is put to good use in segregation so we can filter out the magnetic materials from the non-magnetic dust in here right so here i have some iron filings small bits of iron which is sort of mixed with the dust in this uh, uh, pan if i bring iron close to it and if i bring iron close to it uh, the the magnet close to this uh, mixture then I am able to attract the iron particles away, right? magically the iron particles get pulled and whatever is left behind is actually just dust. So we can use the property of magnetic materials to filter them out. And this property is actually used in huge junkyards where large magnets are able to pull away iron scraps from rest of the material. So magnetism has lots of applications. So Let's try to understand the basis, the basic physics behind this magnetism.